E-L-L-O. The Jell-O program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Don Wilson. The orchestra opens a program with Moon Over Tarzana. <laughs> Bright and gay and so exciting, quick and thrifty and inviting. Full of flavor, rich and mellow, all together, this spells Jell-O. Yes, friends, Jell-O is certainly an all-around good dessert. It's a dessert that has everything, rich, shimmering colors that tell you here's a mighty swell treat, and a world of grand, intriguing flavor. Flavor so pleasing, so refreshing, so downright satisfying that it rivals the real juicy ripe fruit itself. Jell-O is easy to prepare, too. One of the simplest and quickest desserts you can possibly serve. And of course, you can treat the family to a delightful Jell-O dessert for only a few pennies. So order Jell-O tomorrow, choosing any or all of Jell-O's six delicious flavors. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, or lime. Incidentally, strawberry and raspberry Jell-O are now better than ever. Both have a new, improved flavor obtained by using a natural flavor base artificially enhanced. Try these grand flavors and enjoy Jell-O's rich, distinctive goodness. Serve a tempting mold of Jell-O tomorrow. Tarzana played by the orchestra. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this being the fifth day of January, we bring you a man who is still doing his Christmas shopping, Jack Benny. Thank you, thank you. Jello again, this is Jack Benny talking. And Don, when you saw me in that department store yesterday, I wasn't shopping. I was exchanging some of my Christmas gifts. Well, that's quite a coincidence. I was doing the same thing. Would you believe it, Jack? Three different friends gave me electric razors. Now, you think that's bad? I got enough bottles of cologne to have people whistle at me for the next ten years. <laughs> no kidding, Don. I must have gotten 25 bottles of that stuff. Oh, what are you going to do with it all? I gave it to Rochester, and he's going to throw a cocktail party. <laughs> He uh, mixes it with orange ice and calls it a Central Avenue lullaby. <laughs> uh, but when you saw me in that store, Don, I was only exchanging the gift uh, Phil Harris gave me. You were? Why, Phil told me he gave you a lovely present. Oh, it was lovely, yes, but I don't know. I didn't feel right in it. Oh, well, you shouldn't have exchanged it, Jack. You'll hurt his feelings. I don't care whether I hurt his feelings or not. I'm too old for an Indian suit. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with Phil. He gives the darnest Christmas present. Last year, he sent me a manhole cover. <laughs> Imagine a manhole cover. Oh, yes, I remember that. What'd you ever do with it, Jack? What could I do? I put Home Sweet Home on it and hung it on the wall. <laughs> and I wish you could have seen what the... Oh, hello, Mary. Hello, Jack. Happy New Year, Don. Same to you, Mary. What about me? It's a wonder you wouldn't thank me for the swell time I showed you New Year's Eve. You didn't even phone me. I want to do it big. I'm going to hire a skywriter. <laughs> it won't be necessary. You know, Don, I took Mary to the Wilshire Bowl. And boy, was I raring. At the stroke of 12, I grabbed a horn and blew the old year right out. You did, huh? Yep. And at 12.01, Jack put the horn in his pocket and said, let's go home. <laughs> Mary, the only reason I suggested going home early was because I didn't want to have a hangover the next day. A hangover? From what? Breaking balloons? Listen, Mary, don't try to give the impression that I'm an old dodo I was the life of the party I had you on that dance floor every minute Anything to keep me from eating <laughs> You ate, sister You... <laughs> Believe me You had the special T-bone steak with French fried potatoes And choice of two vegetables Including tax, $1.29 <laughs> You know very well you had a swell time. Okay, I had a swell time. You're darn tootin'. Say, Murray, is Jack a good dancer? I couldn't tell. That was the first time I ever did the turkey trot. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the turkey trot at all. I was doing the la conga. The la conga? Yes. 
Couldn't you hear me going? One, two, three. Uh. One, two, three. Uh. One, two, three. Uh. What'd you think that was? I thought your rheumatiz was giving you the biz. <laughs> that was very funny, Mary. You know, I wonder why you and Phil don't quit this program and get one of your own. Harris and Livingston, every week an audition. <laughs> You're too smart for this show Oh, hello, Dennis Hello, Mr. Benny Happy New Year Same to you, kid Is anybody an aspirin? Oh, boy, what a head I got Why, Dennis, I'm ashamed of you I bumped it getting out of my car <laughs> Oh, oh, I see I'm sorry That's all right, you can bump your head <laughs> I thought you meant you'd been celebrating too freely By the way, Dennis, uh, where did you go New Year's Eve? I went there, don't worry Oh, <laughs> Okay. Say, I wonder what's keeping Phil. You went where, Dennis? Never mind. I went there every night, just like you told me to. All right, all right. <laughs> Say, Don, have you seen... Dennis, where have you been going every night? Mary, it's none of your business. It's a good picture, all right, but, gee, I can't laugh all the time. <laughs> Dennis, please. I'd rather go back to mowing your lawn. <laughs> Now, Dennis, I don't want to hear another word about it. Why, Jack Benny, do you mean to say you've been sending the kid downtown to laugh at your picture every night? Mary, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, Dennis, it's time for your song. So let's have it. My girl laughed at Fred Allen, but don't worry, I kicked her. <laughs> now, Dennis, everybody's waiting for your song, so let's have it, please. What's it gonna be? A brand new number called I'm Gonna Round Up My Love. That'll be fine, go ahead. And by the way, if your girl thinks Fred Allen is so funny, get another one. Mary, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> Do you hear? Oh, brother. I wish that kid wouldn't babble so much. And a needin' her by my side I'm gonna round up my love Gonna win her tonight In the prairie moonlight I'm gonna round up my love Gotta make her agree To belong to only me Then together we'll ride high And together we'll sing low Side by side Roaming the rain We'll go I'm gonna make her my pie I'm gonna round up my love Yippee, yippee, I ride high Yippee, yippee, oh, sing low Side by side, roam in the rain We'll go I'm gonna make her my pie I'm gonna round up my That was I'm Gonna Round Up My Love, sung by Dennis Day. There you are, Dennis. That was swell. You were in very good form. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Jack? Why, Dennis, what's come over you? You've always called me Mr. Benny. 
Well, I saw so much of you last week, I feel like we're old friends. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. But you know, Dennis, I kind of like the idea of your calling me Mr. Benny. It adds a little dignity to the program and shows uh, your respect for me. Do you want me to call you Mr. Benny, too? That won't be necessary, Mary. Gee, I can call him Jack. <laughs> And now, folks... Wait till the girls at the May Company hear about this. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Don't get smart, Miss Livingston. Oh, do call me Mary. Now, cut that out! <laughs> you asked me a question, I answered it. Now, let's forget it. Well, look who finally breezed in. Hi, Jackson. Am I late? No, Phil. Uh, we realize that taking up a half hour of your valuable time once a week is... Quite an imposition. Now, hold on, Jackson. In fact, Phil, I think that next Sunday I'm going to have a microphone installed across the street in the pool room so you can say hi, you folks, without putting your cue down. <laughs> would, you, uh, would you care for that? Now, before you bawl me out, Jackson, I want to tell you that I'm a changed man. You're looking at the new Harris. Oh, I am, eh? I'm not kidding. Oh. On January the 1st, I made a resolution. I'm going to cut out smoking, cut out drinking, cut out gambling, and I'm going to cut out staying up so late. Well, I'm glad to hear it. When are you going to cut out running after women? When they stop running. <laughs> I thought so. Well, Phil, here's another resolution for you during this new year. Why don't you learn something about music? You mean I should be like Stokowski? No, Phil. All I ask, all I ask is when you pick up a piece of paper that has lines across it, and little black dots all over it. Don't look at your boys and say, there's a spy around here. This stuff is in cold. <laughs> <laughs> little as they know, it embarrasses them. <laughs> okay, Jackson, that'll be another one of my resolutions. Speaking of resolutions, Jack, I have resolved that during 1941, I'm going to find new ways to tell people about Jell-O. You are, kiddo? Yes. <laughs> Instead of telling them about strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime, I'm going to mix them up and say, strawberry, lime, raspberry, lemon, orange, cherry, and. Oh, oh, the and at the end. Gee, they'll never dream it's the old Jell-O show. <laughs> Anything else, Don? Yes. Remember how I always used to say, uh, look for the big red letters on the box? Uh-huh. Well, this year I'm going to say it backwards. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> box the on, letters red big. D4, look. Well, mouth my shut. <laughs> Don, that's a very novel idea. Oh, thanks, Jack. I'm awfully glad you like it. I'll see you get a raise for that. Backwards. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, we will have a number by Phil Harris and his orchestra who will play it not backwards, not forwards, but in their usual manner. They will start in the middle and blast both ways. <laughs> uh, all right, Phil, let's have it. Okay. Say, uh, by the way, Jackson, I got my expense account on our New York trip all made out. You want to see it now? Uh, no, Phil, I'll look it over later. What is it total up to? 3,427... Give me that! <laughs> Let me see that expense account. There you are. I got the whole thing itemized. That's itemized. <laughs> itemized. If you don't mind, I'll look it over. Let's see here. Mm, hotel room, $42 a week. That's reasonable. Meals for two weeks, $63. That's very reasonable. You don't have to read it, Jackson. It's in perfect shape. I'll just give it a quick glance. Now, let's see. Hey, Jack, look. There's one item you can't complain about. Where? Right there. Laundry for two weeks, 37 cents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, let's see what else he has here. Bottle opener, 10 cents. <laughs> Ice, 250. Bromo, $135. <laughs> What do you want us to play, Jackson? Wait a minute, Phil. I'm not through yet. <laughs> Taxi cab, 1150. That's okay. Charles Bagby, musical arrangements for orchestra, 37 cents. 
37 cents. That must be the same guy that does his laundry. <laughs> Yeah. See, what else is here? I-G-R, $45. $45? Phil, what's this I-G-R? I got robbed. <laughs> My goodness, you don't expect me to pay for that. <laughs> you don't expect me to pay for that, do you? Oh, what are you beefing about? I never even charged you for bailing out my guitar player. <laughs> oh, well, that's very sweet of you. Now, let's see. Well, here we are again, Bromo 100. <laughs> Phil, you and I will talk this whole thing over later. In the meantime, let's have a band number. Okay. Look at this next item, Mary. Elevator, $400. What could he want with an elevator? <laughs> There'll be some changes made Played by Phil Harris and his orchestra Where there will be some changes made <laughs> And uh, Phil Getting back to your New York expense account It's a ridiculous total And I'm not paying for all of your hilarity Okay, Jackson But as long as we're on the subject of the dough How about that 50 bucks I won from you From the Rose Bowl game? That you can take to court <laughs> I didn't see the game, Phil, so the bet's off. I thought you'd squirm out of it. Well, yeah. Jack, I thought you told me you were going to the Rose Bowl game. I did go, but I, I didn't stay. <laughs> Tell him what happened, Jack. Mary, Don wouldn't be interested. Oh, yes, I would. What happened, Mary? Well, Don, it was like this. There's a woman for you. Jack got the tickets and told us to meet him in front of Tunnel 16 at 1.30. 1.30, 1.30. <laughs> well, anyway, Phil Dennis and I took a cab. But when we got to the bowl, Jack wasn't there yet. So we waited and waited and waited. You should have seen the crowd, Don. There were thousands of people. Programs, programs, names and numbers of all the players. Program, miss. No, thanks. Come on, fellas, let's go in. We can't go in. We've got to wait for Jackson. Yeah, he's got the ticket. I don't see why he didn't come with us. Well, you know how romantic Jack is. He's bringing his girlfriend Gladys to the game, and they're driving out alone in the Maxwell. Say, that little waitress ain't so bad looking when she gets dressed up. I think that Jackson's stuck on her. You said it. Yeah, he said it. <laughs> Dennis, why don't you go get lost in the crowd? Don't think I couldn't. <laughs> hey, look, Mary, ain't that Jack and Gladys coming this way? Oh, yes. Jack would be wearing a beanie. And get a load of that fur coat on Gladys. Gee, Gladys, I, I never saw you looking so good. You're sure pretty when you're all dolled up. Thanks, Seedy. I mean it. Get your programs here. Program, mister, 15 cents. Oh, Seedy, can I have a program? You're darn right you can. Here's a half a dollar, buddy. Keep the chain. Oh, boy, now I can get my toupee out of Hawk. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, here's the gang, Gladys. Hiya, fellas. All set for the game? Yeah, I've been waiting on you, Jackson. Come on. Say, Gladys, you know Mary and Dennis, don't you? Sure. Hello, everybody. Hello. Gee, Gladys, that's a pretty fur. Did you trap it yourself? <laughs> you know darn well I gave it to her for Christmas. Oh, pardon me, honey. Do you know Phil Harris? Do I? Hmm. Hiya, Gladys. I'll have a ham on rye. Now, Phil, <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> Not working today. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Here's our gate. Let's go. Take it, take it. Hold your own stubs, please. Here you are. Oh, hello, Gladys. Hello, Eddie. How are you? Fine. Taking your old man to the game? <laughs> I'm not her old man, I'm her fella. Come on, sweetheart. Say, where's Dennis? I'm stuck in the turnstile. <laughs> well, push it a little, for heaven's sake. Here's tunnel 16 over this way. Oh, yeah. Say, Gladys, are you still working at the Shamrock Cafe? No, I'm at a drive-in now. Speedy thought I ought to be outside where it's healthier. <laughs> Darn right. What's the use of being in California and not enjoy the sun? It's great for you. Yeah, I wish I could get off the night shift. <laughs> you will, honey. Well, here's the entrance, kids. Say, look who's here. Hiya, Gladys. Happy New Year. Same to you, Lefty. Lefty. Hmm. Who's that fresh guy, Gladys? Lefty Flanagan. Boy, can he drive a truck. I can imagine. Hey, look, there's a hot dog stand. Let's see. Yeah, you want a hot dog, Gladys? I'm not hungry right now. Okay, we'll get him inside. Better get one now, Gladys. You know Seedy. That's Speedy. <laughs> All right, I'll go over and buy the hot dogs. Everybody wait here so you won't get lost. Hey, mister, five hot dogs, please. Five puppies coming up? Oh, hello, Spencer. Why, Schlapper, no! <laughs> well, of all people, Schlapperman, are you running a hot dog stand now? And look at my sign, Zachy boy. All the hot dogs you can eat for 10 cents. That's fine, but how can you make money with an offer like that? Taste one and you're tasting the answer. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're pretty tough weenies, eh? What suitcase handles they would make? <laughs> well, they still look good to me. Give me five of them. Okay, what kind of mustard do you want? Mustard? What kind? Yeah, sure. I got strong, mild, and channel number five. <laughs> oh, mild, I guess. How much do I owe you? Five hot dogs, 50 cents. Well, that's fair enough. Here's a dollar. Here's a quarter. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> You're welcome. So long, Slep. So long. Get your red hats here. You ain't hep till you dine with Slep. <laughs> well, here you are, kids. Take your hot dogs. Thanks, Jack. Here's my dime. Keep it. Everything's on me today. Gee, I'm thirsty. What are we going to drink with our hot dogs? Here you are, Gladys. Put that back in your pocket. <laughs> Phil, just for once, why don't you see a football game where four teams aren't playing? <laughs> now, where's Dennis? He'll be back in a minute. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, he's, uh, he's got his own ticket. Let's go in. Here's the tunnel. Gee, it's dark in here. Huh? So dark in here. <laughs> yeah. Say, Speedy, remember the time we went through the Tunnel of Love at Ocean Park? Oh, Gladys, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Cut it out. Oh, I'm sorry I slapped you. Gladys, it's all over. Forget it. <laughs> now, come on. Stub, please. There you are. Right this way. Oh, hello, Gladys. Hello, Nick. Where you been keeping yourself? Oh, I've been around where you been. Come on, come on. Show us our seats. <laughs> Listen, Gladys, do you have to talk to every fellow you meet? Oh, Speedy, you're so jealous. I'm not jealous. Here are your seats, mister. Thanks. <laughs> Say, 
Say, these, these seats are all right, aren't they? Yeah, right on the old 40-yard line. Say, Jack, who's playing here today? Two of the finest teams in the country, Stanford and Nebraska. Then why does your pennant say, love thy neighbor on it? <laughs> I gotta wave something, don't I? You know, I kind of like Nebraska. Well, I'm for Stanford. You want to make a little bet, Jackson? Yeah, I might. Hey, Gladys, how are you? Oh, there's Lefty Gordon. Hello, Lefty. Another Lefty. Don't you know anybody that's right-handed? <laughs> well, I used to go with him. Used to, used to. You're going with me now. I wish you wouldn't talk to everybody. Hey, Jackson, what about that bet? Okay, Phil. You've got Stanford, and I've got Nebraska. Oh, yeah, pal. Is this seat back an old pal, old pal? Oh, fine. <laughs> yes, a young man has it He'll be here in just a minute Oh, don't mention it, pal Hey, friend of yours is a friend of mine <laughs> This would happen to me How much dough you want to bet, Jackson? Any amount you say, brother Just name it Okay, 50 bucks Hmm, 50, eh? Take another number, Phil <laughs> Oh, no, if he wants to bet 50 bucks It's okay with me Quiet, quiet I want to hear the game the game hasn't started yet. No, thanks. I never touch it. <laughs> How can you talk to a guy like that? Look, Jack, here comes the Nebraska team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gee, they're a husky bunch of fellas. Yeah, listen to that crowd. Yes, sir. You know, Gladys, I'll bet there are 90,000 people here. That's terrible. 90,000 people without a home. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> They've got homes. They're here for the game. Oh, no, no. You're just saying that because I'm your pal. <laughs> You're not my pal. I never saw you before in my life. No, thanks. I never touch you. <laughs> I don't know why I always run into one of these guys. Ignore him, Gladys. I am Gladys, old pal, old pal. Don't you dare speak to her. Here, hold my coat, Mary. He's on the floor already. What do you want? Well, he can't talk like that. Hey, look, Jackson. Here comes that good old Stanford team out on the field. Oh, hey, those boys look pretty good, too, don't they, Gladys? Oh, they're a swell bunch. Hello, fellas. Hello, fellas. <laughs> what? Well, I'll be darned. She knows the whole team. Well, that's the last straw. I'm leaving. I'm not even going to stay and see the game. Oh, Speedy, come. Down. Calm down, nothing. And let me tell you something else, Gladys. The next time you go out with me and say hello to every Tom, Dick, and Harry we meet, remember, who can play a So there you are, Dom. That's exactly what happened at the Rose Bowl game on New Year's Day. Jack really lost his head, huh? He sure did. Okay, I'm a fiery, jealous nature. What can I do? Play, Phil. Okay, Speedy. Friends, before dessert at dinner tomorrow, why not serve the family a real surprise, something delightfully different, like apple snow jello? A delicious combination of cold, spicy applesauce and crimson raspberry jello. Or try apricot pecan layers, crunchy pecan meats and golden canned apricots molded in shimmering orange jello. These are just two of the many grand treats that you'll find described in the new calendar of desserts book. In this big 48-page recipe book, you'll discover 365 suggestions for all kinds of novel and tempting desserts, pastries, puddings, cakes, cookies, and of course, lots and lots of swell desserts made with delicious jello. And this unique calendar of desserts is just as beautiful as it is useful, too. Full of lovely paintings and handsome photographs in brilliant glowing colors. So be sure to send for your copy right away. Just mail 10 cents, just 10 cents, in coin or stamps to me, Don Wilson, care of General Foods, Battle Creek, Michigan, and this handy day-by-day -day recipe book will be forwarded to you at once. Don't wait until tomorrow, friends. Send 10 cents for your copy tonight. We're a little late, so good night, folks.